So I just updated my internet today to the new T-Mobile home internet with this high-speed internet gateway. This is a Nokia modem, cellular modem, that they will provide you free of charge uh, just with your recurring monthly fees of $50 a month. You get unlimited bandwidth and you get um, no throttling, supposedly, um, on a 4G and 5G capable system. So when 5G comes to your area, you'll get some pretty good download speeds uh, through this device. Uh, what they give you in the box, and they ship it to you, like I said, at no cost, they give you a Cat6 cable, they give you the device itself, and a power cord, and that's it. And then they give you this uh, installation guide, quick start guide, basically just says, hey, put it in a centralized place in your house because it is a Wi-Fi transmitter if you want to use it for Wi-Fi only. Um, uh, go ahead and plug it in, push the on button, and then go to their, go to the app store and download their app so that you can uh, control it. And really all you can do is manage the Wi-Fi. You can turn the Wi-Fi off, you can change the SSID, change the password, do a few things in there, but it's very limited. Uh, you really can't put it into bridge mode, you don't do any port forwarding doesn't have many capabilities at all. It's pretty locked down. Uh, I hope that in the future they'll open that up and uh, with some firmware upgrades, maybe give you some of those capabilities, but so far they're not. I think they're fearful of the usage and being able to handle all that capacity over time as more people might sign up for the service. So um, I'll give you a look at what the device looks like here installed. Um, I've got it at the top of my rack here in a closet on the second floor. Here's the device. Um, it's very simple. Just has that power cord at the bottom and then that Cat6 cable at the top. And where I'm using it is with a Eero network. So that cable plugs right into this Eero and then that Eero is plugged in to a switch down here which goes to all the wired devices in my location. And it also connects to three other Eero Pros in different uh, parts of the facility so that I can spread the Wi-Fi signal. There's also a couple Eero beacons uh, so I've had an established uh, Eero network here for a couple years now. It's been working great. Uh, and in, in this utilization of the T-Mobile device, all I had to do was swap it out, um, plug in the new device here, and then just restart the Eero and restart a couple laptops and a, and a PC so that the DNS would refresh uh, to the new gateway. And that was it. Everything's worked fine. Um, you can have problems in some situations if you're gaming perhaps because you've got NAT happening, this network address translation happening behind the router uh, here at the Eero, but you've also got NAT happening as well from the T-Mobile device. So you're double NATed. It can cause problems in some cases where you're trying to home back in on a device in your network, but I haven't had any trouble. I've probably got 75 devices connected here doing all kinds of different functions. Got cameras, got um, got Smart Things Hub, got all kinds of other computers, and really haven't had any problems. The Euro seems to work quite well with this uh, T-Mobile device. Um, so I can't say the same for some of the other mesh networks. I've heard some people having some issues with different routers. Um, but anyways, working great. Um, the device itself, you can unplug it, and still it has a battery inside, so you can move it around your location, and you just tap the top, and you'll see your signal strength. So. Even with just two bars, that's really all I can get in this location. I've, I've taken it all around trying to find a better spot and nothing gets better than two bars. I just physically am that far away from the cell towers in this rural site. Um, but with two bars, I'm able to download at just over 100 megabits pretty consistently. Uh, upload speeds have been anywhere from 6 to 10, uh, but I haven't got any higher than 10. So I'm thinking that's going to be enough for what I do here, a lot of streaming. Um, got a Plex server, got some other things going on, um, but don't need a ton of bandwidth uh, going up. So I think that's going to be just fine. Um, but yeah, really happy with the device. I think this has worked out great. It was an easy swap. It works well with the Eero network. Um, hopefully over time they upgrade and enhance the firmware and the device, give us a little more control. Uh, so hey, please uh, make an update in the comments. Let me know if your system's working okay for you, what problems you're running into. We can definitely get some discussion going and have some uh, other folks bring in their experience and help work through some issues. Um, so please do that and like the video. If you give it a thumbs up, um, then the video will get seen by more people and we'll get some more pe people looking at it and um, thinking about how to make this work better. Um, and then uh, as well, if you subscribe, any new updates, you'll get notification on that as well. And it doesn't, doesn't cost you a thing. So, so yeah, 
Um, if the video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And, you know, as always, have a great day.